Let's take a look at the solution for question one on our midterm exam for calculus 1220. Uh, and this one, we want to evaluate the integral from negative two to two of three x plus one quantity squared. This one, I would probably just suggest that we just foil out the three x plus one squared there. Um, upon doing so, you're going to get three x times three x, which is nine x squared. Uh, then you're going to get a 3x times 1, and then another 3x times 1, so that gives you a 6x, and then 1 times 1, which is 1. Uh, compute an antiderivative. Um, when you take the antiderivative of the 9x squared, you're going to get 9x cubed over 3, plus 6x squared over 2, plus x, as you go from negative 2 to 2. Uh, the coefficients do simplify a little bit. You get 3 goes into 9, leaving a 3. 2 goes into 6, leaving also a 3. And so plug these things in there. You plug in the 2. Um, you're going to, well, so we'll, we'll write the simplified version there. You're going to get 3x cubed plus 3x squared plus x as you go from negative 2 to 2. Uh, so when you plug these things in there, you're going to get 3 times 2 cubed, which that's going to be an 8. Um, you're adding to that 3 times 2 squared, which is a 4, plus a 2. Subtract from that. Oh, we're going to put a negative 2 in there. And so you're going to get 3 times negative 8. You're going to get 3 times positive 4. And then lastly, you're going to get a negative 2, like so. And so notice some cancellation that happens here. Um, in the case you have a th 3 times 4, which is a 12, that's going to cancel with the 3 times 4, which is 12 as well. So that cancels out. But on the other ones, when you distribute this negative sign, it actually makes them positive, so things are going to double up. So 3 times 4, sorry, 3 times 8 is 24. So you're going to get 2 times 24 for the first one there. And then 2, two plus 2, so 2 times 2, which is a 4. So you end up with 48 and a 4, which adds up to be... 52, thus leading us to choose option D. And so it's just meant to be a fairly straightforward calculation in that regard. But as a sort of a comparison, I did also want to mention that if you came back to this step right here, since we were integrating it across 2 and negative 2, you could use symmetry to help you out here. You could break this thing up into the even part, which would be 9x squared plus 1 dx. And then you could do the odd part, negative 2 to 2, of the 6x dx. When you integrate an odd function across a symmetric interval, it just cancels out. And then, so that so the integrating the 6x just canceled out like we saw up here, right? But then also when you integrate across the even part, you could have just done two times the integral from 0 to 2 of 9x squared plus 1 dx. And so then if you had done finished that calculation, everything else would be basically the same. Uh, using symmetry here makes it a little bit cleaner. I showed you all the details nonetheless, and that's going to give us the solution to question number one.